In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how to move a virtual machine from one VNet to another VNet. It sounds like an easy task, but when you try to do this, you find that there is no simple way of getting this done from the Azure portal. Let me show you how. I'm on the Azure portal now, and here in the Azure portal, I have this resource group called VNet Migrate. And in this resource group, I have two virtual machines in it. One is web server backup, and the second is web server main. The web server main is our main web server. And if I give that a click, you'll see that this main web server VM is in the prod VNet VNet. Whereas if we go back to check the backup server, Notice that the backup server is in the lab VNet VNet. So our task here is to ensure that the web server backup is in the same VNet as the web server main. So let's click on the web server backup VM once again. In order for us to make this change, the VM will need to be stopped. That is, it will need to be in a deallocated state. So I'm going to go right ahead and stop this VM. After the VM has been stopped, I'm going to click on delete. What we're trying to do here is not to delete the entire VM, but we only want to delete a component of the VM, which in this case is the VNet. And the VNet is associated with the network interface. So I'm going to select the network interface and uncheck my operating system disk. Check this and click on delete. Now that the network interface has been deleted, we're going to go back to the resource group that, that is hosting the VM. And click on the VM storage. Here's the VM storage. Remember we didn't delete the entire VM. We only deleted the network interface. So let's give this a click. And from here, we're going to click on create VM. So I'm going to select my subscription, select your resource group and type in the name of the virtual machine. So here I'll try to use the same name as before. It doesn't have to be the same name, but just to keep it consistent. So I'll go with the same name here. We're going to click next to proceed to disk. We don't have to make any changes here. So we'll leave the storage as it is and click next. Here in the networking tab is where we have to fix things. So from here, I'm going to select my production VNet. Give that a click. If you like to choose a subnet of choice, you can go ahead and select your subnet. We don't need to make any further changes. So I'm just going to skip through the rest of the tab and click on review plus create. Let's click on create. Now let's go back to the VM and see if we now have the VM in the right VNet. And sure it is. So you can see this is my web server backup and we now have it in the appropriate VNet. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.